Hello, my kitchenettes, and welcome to David's Kitchen. Tonight, I'm going to make for you a fabulous side dish that will knock your friend's socks off if you make this for your guest. It's a real simple dish, and it's a David Marcella original. I call it my firecracker okra. Now, you're saying, what's this guy from New York doing making okra? Well, I lived in Houston for quite a while, and the first okra I ever had was that kind of slimy, stewed, tomatoey okra. Didn't like it. Then I had the one everyone loves, the breaded fried okra, heaven. I could eat all of that. And then I tried to start thinking about how can I make something that's a little bit more healthy uh, and something that I can do without having to fry the okra, etc. And I started playing around with okra and using my wok, making some sort of almost like a stir fry okra. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys today. In the summertime, you can get fresh okra all, all over the place, but right now I can't find any good fresh okra. So come to find out the frozen okra works just fine. All you do is take what you're seeing here, two packages of frozen okra. I defrost them in the microwave for five minutes. Then I put them in a colander to make sure I get all the water out of it. And the next thing you know is you have this nice platter of defrosted whole okra. Then I'm going to have a whole onion that I sliced up into nice pieces. My favorite hot and spicy chili lime peanut chili pepper. So that will go right into my wok with the chili oil. Uh, about two cloves of chopped garlic. And you could stop right there. Put some crushed red pepper on it and be done. Tonight I'm gonna to add a little bit of an Indian flair to it, so I'm going to add some of my favorite hot curry powder on the end. So let's go over to the wok and I'll show you how quickly you can throw this together. So in our wok, the first thing we're gonna do is heat up about uh, three tablespoons of olive oil with the hot chili peppers until the oil is hot. Once the oil's hot, then we're gonna go ahead and put in our onions. To the onions, we're gonna put a little salt. And we're just gonna cook up these onions a little bit to get them a little bit soft because they take the longest to cook. Now that the onions are nice and on their way to getting cooked, we're gonna go ahead and put in the okra. Stir that around in the wok. We're going to let that cook for a little bit. The trick here with the wok is hot and fast. You can see it's at a pretty high heat. And you're just going to keep tossing this around. And it's going to cook pretty fast. Remember, a critical factor in bringing out the flavors as you're cooking is to get a little bit of color on the food. So as you can see here, this particular okra is getting nice and little brown. So, as you can see, it's all getting a little bit brown now. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic. Didn't wanna put that in too soon because I don't want it to burn, but now's a good time to do it. Incorporate the garlic in. We're gonna let this just continue to toss for a few more minutes. Now, for the final touch, I'm gonna to add probably about two teaspoons of hot chili powder. Once again, use what you like. If you don't like chili powder, you don't have to use it. And of course, I like it spicy. I'm gonna use a couple of nice shakes of crushed red pepper. And just really incorporate all of this in. And I, and I have to tell you, it just smells amazing. So this will cook for about another two minutes, and it's done. It's as simple as that. Wow, I wish you could really smell the fragrance that's coming out of this. So I'm shutting off the gas, and this is done. You can still hear it sizzling, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it into my dish. You got those hot peppers, onions, okra, and just take a look at that. It's so fragrant. It's an amazing side dish. I'm actually making some Indian curry 
chicken thighs on the grill tonight. This will be an excellent side dish, but believe you me, I serve this with meatloaf, anything, and I guarantee you, you will have people that say that they hate okra, and when you make this for them, they're gonna have a whole new view on what okra is all about. So, I hope you give this a try. Remember, for God's sakes, wash your hands. Ciao. Curry powder.